your student debt doesn't go away after you die, you know? And I think that's crazy. I've got about $80,000 of debt right now, and so I don't really know when it's gonna be paid off. You know, you're putting these kids who are just out of school under a tremendous back-breaking amount of debt and you provide them with no avenue to like try to climb out of it. American students are currently $1.2 trillion in debt, according to Forbes. The average Minnesota student graduates with more than $30,000 in debt after four years, according to the Institute for College Access and Success, putting us at fourth highest in the nation for debt. I'm not sure when my tuition will be entirely paid off. I mean, the loans covered a few of them, but I think I will be completely out of debt probably by like 35. And how old are you now? I am 23. In addition to aid and loans, more students are taking on part-time jobs to help with college costs, according to the census. At 20 hours per week, Minnesota has among the most students working while in school. I currently have a wage that's allowing me to keep myself afloat, while at the same time, my loans are growing. I'm not able to really pay the interest on those loans right now. If you're trying to pay back student loans, if you're trying to begin to save for retirement, if you have children, if you have medical bills, so on and so forth, that's not really going to meet going to meet those needs. Even though loans have been increasingly crippling students and their families, in 2010 college graduates earned 50% more than did young adults who completed only high school and 22% more than did those with associate degrees, according to American Student Assistance. When I made my first real resume that didn't have any high school stuff on it, you know, all of that had been taken off. It was my first real legit resume. I felt good about it because I felt like I had a lot of experiences through Augsburg that um, I was able to put on there that made me look like I was qualified to really, you know, seek a job in the field that I wanted. So that was really positive. I did feel like I was prepared. Um, but then the problem is, is that you're competing with 20, 30, 100 other people that feel the same way. A lot of the jobs that I looked at did require a few years of experience in the field. It can be a really stressful situation because it's like, how are you supposed to have experience and you just graduated with a degree? Where am I supposed to get this experience from? Oh, I waited quite a while after I graduated to get a call back. Um, I applied to places in my field and even to this day, I, I've made those connections, but I haven't necessarily been hired on in those fields, but it took, I would say maybe five months before I even was able to do like a second or third interview in any job after college. I think you really do have to do a good job when you're in school of trying to connect to the professional world. So when I talk to hiring managers right now, you know, they say absolutely it's good to have a college degree, they wouldn't argue against it, but they really are zeroing in on, you know, what platform do you use, do you have the skills to, to master that. It's, everything's getting sophisticated and it's, it's becoming such a niche market that you have to, you have to really be specific from the get-go and know what you want to get out of college or you'll, you'll be so far in debt you'll never get out. I'm a big proponent actually of having a liberal arts educational background. I think it exposed me to a lot of ideas, a lot of good foundational thinking because my career has taken me in a whole bunch of different directions that I never would have imagined 25 years ago. When I went to school, I had three internships. I think people looked at me at the time and thought that's kind of crazy, but I needed a lot of internships because I wasn't getting the vocational training as a job. Intelligence by itself doesn't mean anything if you're just regurgitating you know, the things you already learned. You have to be able to think critically. You have to be able to think creatively. There are a number of reforms that need to happen in order to widen access to higher education in a sustainable manner. Without these major reforms, entire generations will be left behind. This colossal issue can only change through a shift in thinking towards the importance of education in our society. We as citizens don't realize the amount of power that we have.